What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Lace Em Up podcast. Oh man, this week, this week was a <laughs> slow burner. Slow. <laughs> like what I tell you, an on court fight is probably the most exciting news to happen this week. Like <laughs> that's the type of week we had. But, but it's uh, you know we still we got still got some fun little things to go. Well, mostly mostly NBA, but. Well, we'll we'll hop into that, but you know, as usual, we always start off with our stars of the week, and then you know, Mr. KB, you get to hear his beautiful voice right off the bat. Go ahead, bro. My, my star of the week, <laughs> yo, dry ass week, like you said. My star of the week, Anthony Davis, for for one or two things. Number one, he called out his teammates this week. That, you know, they're not they're not playing like a championship team. <laughs> well, like, you know, AD, I feel like AD's at this point in his career where, like, if, if they win a championship, I would want him to get the MVP over LeBron just because I feel like, I feel like it's... He's, he's the he's he, the best player on the team right now. When yeah, else? yeah, like, he's, he has to be, he has to be that guy. He has to call out everybody. He has to be the leader. He has to be the voice. Like, so I, I'm happy he did that. Second would be the fact that my man today scored 27 points in the first half. So he spoke on performance and he showed the example yeah, today. Performed. So, so like, I, AD, AD is AD, but I just want this guy to stay healthy. And after that, we'll see what's going to happen. You know, who's your start? Yo, my start of the week, another great player that's struggling to stay healthy. But uh, it's Jack Eichel. We talked about the trade last week. I saw him out in Vegas. Yeah, honestly, they they let him go ring ring the the they have like a little siren that you like spin before games and like yeah. he shows up to the game gets all the love he deserves finally gets to have the surgery he needs I'm just happy that the, my man's free and uh, hopefully he can get back to playing soon so my start of the week is Jack Eichel I hope he's enjoying his his first few days at Vegas or his first week in Las Vegas. Uh, so, I bet that place is amazing to play. <laughs> play. I I know that city's crazy. Imagine living in Las Vegas, bro. <laughs> Making millions, bro. Like, yo, that's yeah. that's dangerous. It could be a recipe for disaster. But... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but um, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Yo, I'm a huge Leafs fan, but this week was a crazy week for me. Almost every night, um that they played I, th- I feel like KB might have caught more Leafs games this week than I did uh, almost every night that they played I missed the only game I saw this week was the Kings game on Monday which I was actually in arena for if you guys hop on our YouTube channel we got a series we're calling game day where like if ever we go whenever we're gonna go to any games me and KB got a, a, a Washington game Leafs Washington later on in the year we're gonna try to like capture some in arena moments you know give you all that that in arena vibe for whatever sports we go to see you know, the behind the scenes. And uh, I uploaded a video of uh, me watching the Kings game earlier this week. They got slapped 5-1. It was <laughs> absolutely hard. I had great seats. I had great seats. My boy hooked it up. He got some seats from his company. And then he, he invited me down. So um, we, 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 we had great seats. But uh, it was not a great game. But uh, I know they won the rest of the week. Uh, and I didn't watch any of the games. And KB watched most. And KB's theory is that he's a, a good luck charm. And I'm not. Which you know I'm what, bro? He you, might bro. be right. He might be right. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Like Monday, Monday they played the Kings. They got dealt with. You didn't watch they that play, game. I didn't watch that game. <laughs> <laughs> I watched. I watched the Wednesday game against the Flyers. It was a hot game. Like at first it started. I was in and out between that and I think there was a Raptors game at the time, but that started earlier. So they were they were dominating the first period. Like these guys, they came in. I don't know. I guess the like the Kings showed them what's up. And they, I mean, bro, that know, was a bad loss, bro. That was a bad <laughs> loss, bro. So I don't know. They dominated the the Flyers game, but I don't I don't really remember much. I know Nylander performed though. Nylander performed in that game. Yeah, he scored two that. goals. I know that. Yeah. And then what? Other and then that. they played who? Calgary after I think or play Calgary Calgary and Buffalo I think. They play, yeah. They played Calgary and they played the Sabers, I think. Yeah. Did you watch those games or not? I no, I didn't. I watched the I watched the overtime of the Calgary game. Yeah. But I don't, I don't even. Matthew scored the, the game winner. It was pretty. Yeah, nice, yeah, so. yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah. But I don't. I didn't watch the the Sabers game though. No. Yeah. Yeah. That so was we, that was yesterday, right? The yeah, Sabres that was, was that was a Saturday night one, but it, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my boys' birthdays, so you know I was out and about, you know, doing young boy activities, city boy activities, you know. So, 
Uh, I have some stories to tell you off off air, bro. Off air, bro. <laughs> oh man, the power of alcohol, bro. The power. <laughs> yeah, you keep me away from that stuff, bro. <laughs> oh man, yo, it was... not juice. Me, not juice. We stand away for a little while, yo, bro. Hold, I'm gonna cleanse. Hold on, is that is that shorty a three? Oh damn, she looking like an eight now. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's mad, yo. You said off him, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, anyway. But, um, yeah, um, we didn't watch much Leafs. That Leafs game live was trash. I don't even want to talk about it. But, you know, it was nice. <laughs> it was nice to be in arena again, you know, yeah. post, post-pandemic. post Like, I hadn't been in a while. I think I've seen, I think that was my third, no, fourth Leafs game live. I don't think I've ever seen the Leafs win. Funny enough, so the the me being a yeah. curse might be true. So we'll, we're, we're gonna we're gonna find out uh, we're gonna find out uh, on uh, uh, when we go see Washington if they lose. But that I don't mind losing as long as Ovi scores a hat trick. If Ovi wants to scores a hat trick against us, I'm okay with it. You're definitely gonna lose against the Ovi's team, bro. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Washington's doing okay this year. Um, but yeah, not much. Not much NHL wise. You know, we didn't catch too many Leafs games, but there there there's some. A little, a little spice going on in the NBA. A little spice going on in, in the NBA this week. Um, spice. Yo, y'all saw y'all. Y- the story that's been making the rounds lately is the 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 Jokic Morris situation. Oh um, my god! Before we get into that, all I'm gonna say is. I'm riding with the Joker, bro. I'm riding with the Joker. I'm riding with the Joker all day. That's a Joker W I M O. But um, basically, if y'all didn't see, which I'm sure if you're sports fans, if you're listening to this, you must have seen it. Uh, but yeah. if you didn't, uh, basically what happened was, is uh, I think Jokic got like a rebound, but like he might have like, uh, there was maybe a no foul call. And then Morris like decided to like give him a little cheap shot, a little elbow to the ribs. And then mm-hmm. Morris, uh, which Morris brother is this? More Keith, no? It was Keith, right? Do I, do I need, when, it comes, when it comes to that, bro, don't ask me, bro. I do not know. Yeah, I don't those, know who's those, who. those, those guys switch teams like every yeah, year, bro. They're all over the place. I know they do that, bro. I know, they, I, I, I know I, they play for each other, too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, they, yeah, they probably, like, yo, they probably have an Iron Man streak, never unhealthy, and they just like suit up in the other guy's uniform. But yeah, I think I think it was Mark Keith. But, uh, yeah, but anyways, Mark Keith. Um, uh, so he gives uh, Jokic a little elbow t- to the ribs and then turns around acts like nothing and then Jokic gave that guy a nice little jaga <laughs> a nice little elbow into the elbow that into the bad, back yo. it that was, was bad. bad it was bad but Markeith won he asked for it like thankfully he didn't get injured so we can like talk all this shit now obviously if he got hurt it'd be a different situation but um, like and from the sounds of it it sounded like he over dramatized it a little bit um but really? yeah, cause uh, like apparently like uh, like my man my man in the locker room was completely fine, walking around laughing and everything. Uh. So so, um, <laughs> but yeah, like th- like if it was anybody but the Morris twins, one of the Morris twins, I feel like only there's only like three players in the NBA where people would be like. Yo, I'm glad you hit that dude, you know, like What? Like, yo, only three. Why? Only three. The Morris Why? twins, the Morris twins yeah. and Pat Bev. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Why? Because they hurt everybody else and they play those stupid games and they never get they never get it back, you know what I mean? Like it's about time Marquise got it back, you know what I mean? Like oh, don't that, don't 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 fuck with people like that, you know? Like The only reason the, I get that, I get that, but the only reason why I was pissed at that very moment that Jokic did that was because bro, he had a tr- Triple double. It was against Miami. It was a really good ball game. It was a really good ball game. And it's like, damn, you just ruined this by by just reacting, by overreacting to this thing. It's like, yeah, that's something that could have been just handled, you know, just like, bro, he had a triple double. You okay, triple double. I, I'm sorry, bro. I want to witness a good ball game, bro. That was dumb. Morris, Morris is a. He, I'm not. I'm not gonna cuss him out or nothing, but you know, <laughs> you're right when it comes to like, yeah, he kind of deserves some type of. Some type of reproduction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Like, yo, and and uh, oh, yo, what's the other brother's name? Marcus. Marcus. Yo, bro. I. Why are their parents like that, bro? They popped on twins <laughs> and said Marcus Markeith. Like, yo, we know twins like that too, bro. Y'all, y'all remember Christopher? We got Christopher and Christo V, bro. Uh, like, yo, y'all remember Christopher? <laughs> like, yo, get them two separate names, bro. They're already twins. Like, you know, especially the Marquis brothers, bro. They look way too much alike. Like, yeah, they're, no, they're, they're identical. They have the same tattoos. No, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, same time to you. Yeah, they, they, yo, I, I'm gonna just be like, yo, Mark, and they're gonna both turn around like. <laughs> oh, bro, it's bad. It's, I know they've played for each other, bro. Like, there's a, a few times, a few times, um, one of the brothers would not be in a playoffs. And then the other one would come to the game and watch him and shit. And then I know, like, let's say at halftime, I'm tired. My twin brother's sitting in the stands. Yo, want to suit up? Yo, go, go put a jersey on and you balling, bro. I don't care. They, definitely, I do... haven't, they, have, they definitely haven't swapped, bro. No, they bro. have, bro. They have. They have. They have, bro. They have, bro. They have. Bro. They have. They have. I so? know. Bro, they're, they're identical. They're identical. How would we know? I swear, doesn't one have, like, a longer beard or something? I swear, like, they, they cut the hair different. Damn, no, bro. They have the same tattoos. How do they have the same tattoos? That's they have extra. 27 they have 27 similar tattoos on their bodies. I just Google that. That's weird. Exactly. Bro. That's like really weird. <laughs> like, Not surprising at all. Yo, if I'm a twin, I want to look as different as possible from my brother. I'm dyeing my hair. I'm doing I'm doing some next stuff. I don't want to look like him. I don't want to be confused for him. I want to be my own person. But Bruh. anyway. Yeah, I, would not be, I would not be able to tell them apart. That's what I've got to say. Marcus hopped hopped on um on on Twitter and said like yeah I hit a man with his back turned my guy he elbowed him and turned his back immediately he didn't even look at him he didn't exactly. even look at him like what do you mean you know knock a guy with his back turned his back was turned right away he ran away he thought he got yeah, away with know. that so I mean I'm rolling with Jokic like I'm glad Mar I'm glad Markeith is okay maybe it was Marcus I don't know who got hit you know like apparently according to Killian they, these guys be swapping jerseys bro but um like you know. And honestly, bro, Jokic, like his brothers and stuff, those those some scary mans, bro. Like I, I would be careful, you know. These these street boys, they don't know about these 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 back alley like European guys, bro. Like yo, look at look at like look at Khabib, bro. This guy came from fucking Dagestan, bro, where they were literally just wrestling each other in the alleys, bro. Like that, 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 that those guys are different beasts, bro. They're built different. Like those guys are built different. <laughs> I'm telling right. you, those mountain, right mountain boys, like, the guys who are out here living in, like, the Le Village and shit, bro, like, nah, don't fuck with those guys, bro. Yo, um. if you lived in a city, you are you don't compare to these guys who are out here in these backlands, bro. Like, they're not the same, bro. Don't, you know, be careful, bro. Because apparently one of Jokic's brother is, like a, like, a Serbian mafia or something, and then the other one does, like, MMA, like, or kickboxing or yeah. something, so... Like yo, when I see a tattoo on the necks, bro, like if I see neck tattoos like that, bro, like danger, yeah. <laughs> danger close. Amen. <laughs> About the mission. I, I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> About the mission. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, that's. I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I'm just. <laughs> I just don't want it to go any further than that, bro. I just want to play. I just want to watch basketball. Bro. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like there was a an account called like uh, the Jokic brothers that like tweeted them, and everybody was making a scene, but like who knows if it was really them. But uh, Markeith responded with like, my mama told me like like not to not to hurt people or something like that. Like he went to the he went to the the the, the easy escape, you know. Oh uh, my, my mama, my mama told me, <laughs> my guy, just, your mama probably told you not to elbow people in the ribs too. But you know, <laughs> uh, they lost that game anyways, bro. And like whoever siding over the with the Morris brothers, like you you, you just you just you just suck, bro. You just you're just a, a Yoka hater at this point. They lost that game. Jokic had a great ball game. They tried to throw him off. This guy hit him. He turned around like, you know, like you you, you were bound to catch something, bro. How are you going to hit someone, walk away, and think you're not going to get anything? <laughs> like, Yo, man. honestly, it made me like Jokic more, personally. Because, like, I already but, like Jokic enough, but, like, you, there's no... Jokic is so lovable, bro. Like, he's good dude. Like, he apologized exactly. after, too, like, later on. Yeah. He apologized. It was, it's just the heat in the moment, right? Like, it's just in the game. Oh, yeah, bro. Like, yo, yeah. I've done... Stupid things in like in yeah. sports, bro. Stupid things, I'm exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. Same here. There's been times where like, yo, <laughs> I'm playing hockey. Some guy like gives me a cross check I don't like, and I'll go full two hand swing right in the back of the knee. And then afterwards, I'll I feel bad, bro. One guy, one guy. Yo, maybe I shouldn't tell. Yeah, story, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Do. Let's not get into it, bro. Let's not get <laughs> into it, bro. Motherfuckers, yeah. about to get emotional and shit. Bro. Oh no, 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 I'm, I'm not gonna get it. No, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. I might, I might, bro. I oh, might, bro. I might be like? the other motherfucker, bro. Yo, bro, I'm you, good. yo, you might, bro. I, I hit that man. He fell. He was like, ah, ah. He was screaming so much, and I'm like, yo, shit, bro. You okay? I'm sorry. But in the moment, I was cheese. I'm like, yo, bro, don't cross check me. Don't cross check me. Don't slash me. <laughs> like the whole game he was giving me little wax on the hands like while I was trying to, to handle and I'm like mm -hmm. yo bro you better stop right now bang 
back of the knee. But yo, yo, there's some crazy people in like men's league, bro. Like I played with this guy. He broke three sticks in half in a game, bro. Other people's sticks, bro. Like yeah, there's some crazy people in men's league, man. You gotta be careful. My, my, <laughs> Mads go out there and take out their anger. <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't trying to do that, bro. Like I need to hop in a men. I need to hop in a men's league too, but like you know. It's just I I just don't want it to be for the wrong reasons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, can, I bro, I've seen you get heated at me when we played like one v one ball against each other, bro. Bro, uh, sports are just a really sports are when you're an emotional person, bro. You attach your emotions to the sport. It's just and when shit goes left, then you just lash out on whoever yeah. you're playing, bro. It's never really. It's never really, you know, about the person. It's just the sport. <laughs> yeah, KB, KB's a tall man, so I got to use, like, the big body and try to, like, take him in. But, yo, if you give oh, KB too many God. little shoulders, if you give KB too many little shoulder swings, he's going to be like, yeah, yeah, that's how you want to play. <laughs> I said, I if, said. That's a, if that's the only way you can guard me, then you can't really guard no, me. No, not guarding you, know? you. I'm talking about, like, trying to score on you, like, you know. Oh, trying to score okay. on you. In the paint, at least. Because if, okay. if it's a running in the paint, uh, KB's gonna swat that. <laughs> My hood, bro. He's gonna swat that. We call him the fly swatter. Nah, nobody calls me that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody calls me that, bro. I'm too nice. I don't kill flies out there. Anyways, bro. <laughs> we call him Killian Swatson, bro. Yo, bro. <laughs> Talk, you, they call me Killian Simmons, bro. Yeah, me and Ben Simmons, we 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 made something happen. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Me and Ben Simmons made something happen. What are you talking he about? Has a, he has a sister, and I stole their last name. Oh my god, <laughs> I didn't hear that. What 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 what, did, what was said? I didn't hear nothing. But speaking of Ben Simmons, speaking of Ben Simmons, uh, he's got a potential trade to Boston. They're saying for Jalen Brown. Um, I don't know if I would do that personally. It's, it's one of those where, like, I would only take it if something else was added, and Philly would have to add something else too. Because I would not, I would want Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart out of Boston, and I would want like Ben Simmons and Tyrus Maxey and and, and thing. Um, just because, just because I don't see, I don't see Ben Simmons working on the court with Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum. They're already having issues and like taking shots and shit. So it's like, what is Ben Simmons gonna do? Give all the shots to Jason Tatum at that point? Like, yeah. You know, I well, know. I mean, I think Jalen Brown is worth more than Ben Simmons right now. Because uh, I, I like Jalen Brown. Brown is still good defensively. Like he's maybe not Ben Simmons level, but he's still really good defensively, and he's yeah. really good offensively. Better offensively than Ben Simmons. Yeah, but. but hey. Is like his feel of the game is not the same. I don't know how to break that down, but for me personally, I'd rather have Ben Simmons on my team than, than Jalen Brown just because, like, facilitating, like, yeah, he can score the ball, yeah, like, he can exactly, he can score the ball. Jalen Brown can definitely score the ball, but Ben Simmons makes it easier for all other four men on the court to score the ball. Jalen Brown makes it easy for himself, but I don't even know if it's easy because if you catch yourself taking 27 to 30 shots a game, I don't even, like, I don't know which teammates is going to be able to live with that. Especially you put Jalen Brown in Boston. I mean, you put Jalen Brown in Philly, 30 shots a game, Joel is still there, Tobias is still there. Like, that's not going to rock. Seth Curry is still there. That's definitely not going to rock. Oh, you'd have to you'd have to do a little, little it'd be have to be a few pieces. Exactly, that's it'd what I'm saying. So, a few pieces it'd have to be like, like, then you'd have to get Ben. Maybe, maybe you put Seth in there. I, I'm just, I, it's who just, are their I guards? Who, who, are the, who are their other guards other than Ben? Like, Seth? Fitly? yeah, Seth, Seth Ty, Tyrese Maxi. They're not there. trading Shake, Tyrese, they're exactly. keeping him. Shake, Shake Milton, Matisse Tybo, like they have a solid squad. Sheikh Sheikh is not enough, and they're not trading Tybo. So I'd say maybe like Seth, you add Seth Curry in the trade, kind of like let Jalen Brown take his spot because Seth they both play shooting, right? I think yeah. they both play shooting. Yeah. yeah. So you you basically swap Seth, uh, and then maybe you get Marcus Smart like off the bench or something. Like he, they would love him in Philly. So maybe like maybe like. Uh, Jalen Brown and Smart for like Simmons, uh, Curry, and maybe like a pick or something. It's just like it would work. Yeah, that would work too. To me, it's just 
it's just the the outcome for Simmons. Like if Simmons ends up in Boston, whoever's gonna be on the court with him, it has to be someone that could either shoot the ball or or or, or just score. Period. Well, Jason you know Tatum I mean? fills both those brackets, bro. He does. He does. Facts. But if it's just if it's just Jason Tatum and Ben Simmons on the court, then we don't really have other people, other pieces to shoot the ball. We'll Seth, have what, Seth Curry, if they get Seth Curry and like the if deal. Seth Curry gets mixed, yeah. And then what we have Dennis Schroeder out. Orford. That's not bad. That's not bad, bro. Ben. That's not bad. But then so then what? Then then Ben would have to be playing the the five then. Something like that, but like once again, it's like Dennis Schroeder and Ben Simmons on the court. They did. It, it, or Horford like, can play the five too, can he? Horford would play the five. We'll have Ben Simmons wherever we have Ben Simmons. Ben Power. Simmons can play it. Ben Simmons can play anything. I'm not worried about what he would play at the time. It's just a matter of who's on the court with him. That's my only issue. That's my only worry. Because mm-hmm. if you have him and like Dennis Schroeder on the court, it's like it's it, it doesn't do any. It, it, it beats it, itself. It's like you're playing against yourself at that point. It's like having Rondo and Russell Westbrook on the court together. It doesn't do anything for the team. Mm-hmm. It, ben Simmons and Schroeder would be the exact same issue. But I don't know if they can make it work. They can make it work, yo. Yeah, I'm that's just true. not really. I'm just not really for it. I, 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 I don't think it's going to happen. If it does, um, excuse me. <sighs> Sorry, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if it does because it means that Philly would actually come out on top. Of, like, not on top, but they would come out with a good trade for Ben, which, yeah. like, if I'm any other team, I would never offer a good trade for Ben because they don't hold no power. You know what I mean? Yeah, well... Same here, to be honest with you, but uh, Commissioner, my boy Stern, is going to have to... No, is it Stern? It's not Stern. Silver. What's his boy? Silver. Silver is going to have to do something about this situation because way too many players right now are sitting are sitting out because they're, they don't want to play or they're not able to play. He's going to have to do something about this because me personally, I want to see Ben Simmons on the court. Whether or not it's with Philly, I don't really care. I just want to see him ball. Mm-hmm. I, like, you know what I mean? But this situation is not helping nobody. And no one wants the guy. Like... <laughs> Like even even if he's giving away to Boston, like it's not a good deal. Even if he's giving away to Golden State, well, no, it's not for Jalen Brown, it's a good deal. If they get Jalen Brown back, it's a good deal. I just I just don't think I don't Jalen Brown for like for Jalen Brown, I don't think it's a good idea. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but they gotta get rid of him. He's done. He's done there. They have to move him. They have to move him. You gotta get what the best thing you can get. And yeah, you're not, like, you're not getting ben, better than Jalen Brown. Yeah, but Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons has to get out. Jalen Brown in Boston can do something more than what Ben Simmons can do in, in Philly at the moment. Ben Sim, Jalen Brown's playing well in Boston right now. He's at, he's the highest score. He, he's the one scoring the most points on the team. He's going for like 27, 28. Like he's doing well. He's getting his his things. Whatever. Don't even want complaining about his shots. It's Marcus Smart. But now he's gonna go to Philly. He's gonna have to share the ball with Joel. Like like Joel's gonna be that guy. You know what I mean? On on Boston, Jalen Brown has a chance to be sometimes that guy or not that guy. Like, you know, it's him and Jason Tatum. On Philly, it's Joel's team. Like, there's no, no days Tobias is going to take the ball from Joel and be like, nah, it's my team. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> like, no. Yeah. But I don't know. I saw it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't. I just don't think it, it's a good move for Jalen Brown. But you know, basketball is a business, I guess. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not really about Jalen Brown. It's more about like yeah. for the Celtics is a good move for yeah. the teams or not. Um, but like speaking about a player, a former star, um, that's looking like he's on his way out. John Wall, um, he's being sat. Like Houston's not even playing him, and I think he's healthy too. But they're just like not playing him, so. Um, some people have been saying like, "Hey, this might be the end of John Wall in the NBA." Um, what do you think? You think he's gonna be like role player on a bench for someone, or you think he's done? Because we've seen so, this happen to a lot of guards who play John Wall style, like a, like a, like a Isaiah Thomas type and things like that. You know? Yeah. The thing with John Wall right now is that like, since since he's been back from that injury, no one's really gonna trust him to play a ball game right now, and he doesn't even fit in Houston's system, anyways. So the one thing is his contract is hefty. Yeah, his he's, contract making, is, he's making bare like forty million or something, right? Yeah, his contract is hefty. So right now, trading him is like a you're you're gambling a lot because who wants a contract like that? You know what I mean? And it's John Wall. Like, how do I know? How do I know what he's gonna give you? Or what well, he's, he's not, not getting traded. You. No one's taking that. He's not moving nowhere. Exactly. No so if he's that. not, 
if he's not getting traded, then the, the best thing to do is for him to play a veteran role for those guys in Houston because Houston is all G leaguers, like fucking Tim calls them. It's all Jalen Green, uh, Kevin Porter Jr., Jay Gubb. Like those guys are young, so Joe Wall could play like some type of veteran role for them. But that's pretty much it. If no tra- if no team's gonna trade for him, then might as well just keep him there and just do what he could do. But I don't see him being part of a championship team or like anything like that. Cause... The thing, the thing is though, is they're not even playing him though. Like they've said, they're not gonna play John Wall. Because he doesn't, he does I like he. They don't. They, he doesn't fit their system. Like he doesn't fit. Like the the players there, they're all young, bro. They're all like the oldest one they have right there is Eric Gordon and DJ Augustine. DJ Augustine just went back from to the, just came back from the G League. Eric Gordon is the same thing. He's playing this role of like this veteran guy and stuff like that. But at the guard position, they're loaded, and it's all young guys. So it's like putting John Wall in there is like, what are you really doing? What's the point? Wait. And a, a man like him making forty mil a year is just like, bro, like come on, man. Washington did him nice with that contract. Yeah, That's they for sure. did. They did. That's for sure. Like that's yeah, crazy. I mean, he, than... him unless he's the best player on the team, which I don't think he's ever gonna be again. Like he, he wouldn't fit any system really. Like you know, it's like it's like uh, if Russ dropped from like All Star caliber, which I mean these to- turnovers are being a problem right now. But uh, you know, if Russ if Russ dropped from being an All Star caliber player, like his play style wouldn't really fit any teams. You know what I mean? Like someone like that, a slasher, high volume. Like, you know, the thing with, the thing the with John Wall is that, but John Wall wants to compete for a championship. Like he wants to, he wants to compete for a championship, which makes sense. He's 31 years old. It makes sense. Right. With Houston, he's not doing that. So why put his body on the line when you're not doing anything with Houston? The, I like some people were talking about him getting traded to, to, um, to Boston also. And Jay Brown will be involved also. But, what? Like, yeah, exactly. That's you know a, what I mean? What? Never. That, that's why? a. That's a. a no, why would you do that? Exactly. That's not true. Why would that's that? Not true. What, bro? Go Google it right now. Yo, Google it right now. You'll see it on ESPN and stuff. They said that, like actual trusted people, bro, said that. Said that. No, bro. It's just it's just rumors online. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just I'm just okay, using okay. this and there. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call Stephen in and be like, bro, he said this. Nah, yeah. I'm just saying. Like, unless the, unless the argument, Roach says it, I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like if unless the only person that's gonna make it anything official is Roach. But I'm just saying, like rumor wise, it'd be if John Wall was to get traded for Jalen Brown, that'd be one of the dumbest things because once again, what is Jalen Brown gonna do with Houston? He's gonna go and score 35, and then what? There's still not gonna be a playoff team. There's still not gonna be a championship team. If John Wall goes to Boston, like championship, I I don't see it either. Like John Walter Boston does not make them does not move them past Brooklyn and Brooklyn at the moment I don't see them being the best team in the East personally. So No, um, they actually don't look that great, to be honest. It's kinda like either I, I'm outscoring you or that's it. That's my only plan of action. Just outscore exactly. you, that's it. <laughs> and exactly, and James so. Harden without his fouls is not as as like he's still a great player and he'll figure it out eventually, but like it's like how long is that gonna take for him to figure figure that out? These look better like lately, I, though. I feel like mm, I lost you for yeah. Me. They have even, but those foul calls, yeah, I did too. Those foul calls are just are getting really like kind of ridiculous at times, though. Like they're, yeah, they're no, some there's some that he so deserves, bro. Like, like it's foul? yeah, it's stupid. I've yeah. been noticing that too. Like it's it's it. It's, just, it's, it's a little much. It's a little. Some of them I don't mind. Like the ones where like if he puts his arm around someone and like kind of like tries to like pull them in. Those I don't mind because technically that's a foul. But like it's like yo James, you're you're trying to force it. But the ones where he's literally like going up for a bucket and someone slaps his hands, like bro, like that's gotta be called a foul. Like you know that's got like to be. And, yeah. Yeah. Him and him and Dame Dollar have been the ones that I've seen struggle the most, like when it comes to those foul calls and like getting to the line and stuff. But other than that, it's just like even all around the league. Like I, I like the way it's getting called back at the same time. Sometimes it's just like, whoa man, like this is this is tough. Like, dang. Mm. Dang. Those mm. even those four point plays and stuff like that, it's just it's weird. Like, I don't know. Today today during the Lakers game, Carmelo hit a shot. It was a three pointer and he got a foul call. And it's like this whole lending space thing is just it's it's really it's really like throwing me off it's like it's like depending on what type of shooter i am what type of score i am if i shoot and i land like further than the average person if i'm still in that boy's lending space i'm getting caught yeah some people do like the 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 kick the feet forward yeah mellow does that like it's like they shoot outside the three-point line but they land inside Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's so it's like 
damn, like I'm me as a defender, if I get to close out on that, I'm automatically gonna get called for a foul because I'm in his landing space. So which which like yeah, like give him space to land, but like my guy, you're taking a whole like the jump is like from all the way down there to right here. And it's like, yeah, like I don't know. But you know, that's just how the game is at the moment. But uh Speaking about another game, though, Mister, you want to mention how Paul Pogba is out for two months? Um, I, I almost cried, yeah. Yo, it's it's probably gonna hurt, <coughs> it's probably gonna hurt Manu's chances. Like you know, that's their. But they weren't playing him though, right? Was he still coming off the bench? Like last time, last time I was watching, they would, he was coming off the bench. Like I watched. Was coming up, he was coming off the bench because the, it was one of those where like they said he has a hamstring like bruise or something like that, but they didn't tell us the severity of the actual injury. And then once they, once he got called up for internationals because we had two games uh, recently for qualifiers or whatever, he um, like did a health got, check. Yeah, the health check and hamstring injury two months out. Damn. So if he didn't get called up to internationals, they might have still been playing him off the bench with this injury. Damn. I, I, at least he would have been on the bench, whether or not he played or not. Because right now, because right now, what it's looking like. All that, for me personally, I don't care whether or not I'm pushing menu. Like, you can sit out. I just want you for a World Cup, <laughs> to be honest with you. But for menu personally, it hurts their chances big time because they need him. They need him. And don't, don't, the reason why he couldn't play or he couldn't start is because of that injury. Who in their right mind, you can give that team to anyone. Who's going to put Fred before Pogba or Mac Domine before Pogba? Like, nobody's going to do that. Nobody. Yeah. So, there has, the reason was the fact that he had a minor hamstring okay, injury. It makes sense. But no. It makes sense. Right. So, it's just, yeah, like, once again, it's one of those where, like, you know, the athlete's injured, but to the public, we're not really giving them what, what, what the actual injury is. And then when it comes down to, like, legitimate stuff, we what, when we actually need him, oh, it was an, a hamstring tear, this, that, whatever, blah, 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 he's out for two months. What? I need him for qualifiers. What do you mean? But at the end of the day, we, t- we took care of our qualifiers. We beat Kazakhstan 8-0. And Mbappé scored four goals. It's Kazakhstan, bro. <laughs> oh, y'all be Kazakhstan. Yeah, oh. yeah. Like, when that, like, that's so disrespectful. It's like, why are you giving us Kazakhstan to qualify to a World Cup? Like, I come think, on, bro. I think Germany just beat someone like 7 nothing or 8 nothing recently. Like, what is that, yo? Know? Like, why? Lithuania or something, they beat like 7 nothing. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, man. it happens, right? All international teams need to kind of like play each other and like uh, yeah, to get a feel of the game and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, um, but yo, know, to end it off, my my guy, I want to hop into a pod bait. I've been seeing a lot of people, especially this year. I feel like even Ant has been taking some shots himself. But mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people have been kind of comparing these two players in their sophomore season. They were probably the two players in contention for. Um, Rookie of the Year last year in the NBA. Uh, and this year, the sophomore year, LaMelo Ball and uh, Anthony Edwards. So the question for you and for me is, who would you rather have? LaMelo Ball or Ant-Man? If you're starting a franchise today. I'm going with Anthony Edwards, bro. Really? I have to go. I, I have to go. With Anthony Edwards for 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 the simple fact that he's he he can make the game easy for his teammates, but he's also not afraid to take over the ball game. Melo Melo makes the game easy for everybody else. I we know Melo can pass, but his scoring I haven't really seen him go crazy yet. I haven't seen him take over games. I haven't seen him be the man on that team. Like, yeah, I've seen 30 balls. I've seen good games from him, this, that, whatever. But I've never seen a stretch where, like, yo, give me the ball. I'm about to hoop. And, mm-hmm. man, bro, he has d on his team. He has Scout on his team. He has Pat Bev. He has, like, a bunch of guys that can score the ball. But you give him the ball, and he will give you 24 a night. He will give you 25 a night. Melo has he's, that nice I'm pretty way. sure he's averaging 25 right now. Something like that. Let me check that. I think he's averaging 25, and Melo's averaging, like, 20. I'm pretty sure that's the averages, but uh, okay, so yeah, Melo's at 19 and Man is at 24. Yeah, so um, for me, man, like my heart wants to say Ant, my heart wants to say Ant, but my brain mm-hmm. says six nine point guard, super facilitator will give you a 20 ball guaranteed, makes the team his teammates better. Like 
I don't know. It's like, to me, to me, Melo just like offers a little bit more only because like his scoring isn't that much worse than Ant's, but his passing ability is like way better. So yeah, like I just I love yeah. Ant. Like if you're asking me which player I like more and which player like I prefer. I prefer Ant, but if I'm like picking tactically to like build a team around, I'm picking Melo. The only like what for me it's like right now like I don't know especially this season I've been watching like a lot more games like even like teams where I just don't care for and like I've seen Melo be a liability on the defensive end and I just it, I don't like it but personally you switch yeah. Melo in a pick and roll against any big and he just it's it's over when Ant Man it's like he needs to put some muscles on his bones bro like he's yeah too skinny. It, he's too skinny. It, Exactly, but it's it's that and like the willingness. It's like you could be skinny, you could be skinny and be willing to play defense, but you could also be skinny and like not play. Like look at Steph Curry. Steph Curry's defense this year is better than any defense I've seen him play. And over the years, like yeah, I was bashing him for his defense, but now some way somehow he's good defensively. Like you you have to. It's just like the willingness, I guess. Like mellow to me is just you switch off the pick and roll, and he's just. He's not gonna try to like defend that because he has to put some meat on his bones. Like, I don't know. Yeah. To me, it's just I mess with Melo though. I love Melo. I love his game and all that stuff. But defensively, it's just too much of a liability to me. And I need defense to win something. So, yeah. I, I mean, I think both of them are gonna win an MVP at some point in this league. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I love man. Ant. He's a killer. That guy, bro. He's a killer. Yeah, most. He's he's like this guy is making grown men look like like his children, and he's only like what twenty. Like exactly, Which I love look, Ant, bro. He's a monster. Bro, it's it's getting really scary because like Ant's nice, like Jaws. Ja, I don't even like Jaw, bro. But this year, I've been looking at him. Melo's doing his thing. Even the Hornets team is nice. Trey, but, like the next gen Trey, is kind of come through. Yeah, like it, it's just it's getting ridiculous. Like it, it, I'm, I don't know. I I just don't know. That's talent is just. Yeah, it, it's it's I'm, it's scary because you know like you can name multiple point guards today that would be like that you think will be nice in like five years from now. Yeah, you just, could you could there are, there's a lot of like really good young guards, bro. Luca, like yo, there's there's a lot. Luca, Luca, Luca. I'm also scared for him because you know how he's already big for like a for a point guard. Yeah. Yo, compared to all these other guys, like. At the guard position, especially, he's gonna dominate all of them in the yeah, post, like on yeah. the inside, like yeah. all of that. Like it's 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 crazy, bro. That guy, it's it's just like that step back is kind of ridiculous, bro. Like, like I, <laughs> people people are gonna think I'm being extra, but no cap, bro. It's up there with the James Harden step back, bro. Like Luca, Luca has a look. I don't know how he does it. It's not it's not quick. It's a little slow, little skipper. But like yo, his step back mm-hmm. and his fadeaway, bro. That guy can shoot. In any position, yeah. bro. Like he's 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 got ice in his veins. Like he's the man will yeah. miss a bunch of shots, but when he needs to hit the shot, he's not gonna miss, bro. Like my yeah. guy can miss five five threes at the beginning of a game, sure. But if it's in the last minute, like last minute game winner, that shit's going in from anywhere. <laughs> logo back, yo. This guy can shoot it from behind the backboard. I bet on it going in, bro. He's he's clutch. He's ridiculously clutch, Luka Doncic, bro. One of the most clutch players I've ever seen, to be honest. Like, it's crazy. I've never, like, he almost it, never his, misses his, a, um, a, a game shot. Nah, bro, this this year especially, like, he's been playing really, really well. Like, it's like, I don't know. I told you before, I, ba- I bashed Luca before because I just think he doesn't play defense and, like, I don't think he's ever, like, I don't think he's going to meet a certain hype. But my guy's 22. He's built like a motherfucker. He's averaging 25, 8, and 7, like, Bro, like those are grown man stats. Like you're 22 playing in the NBA, you're averaging 25, eight and seven. No, 25, eight and eight. Damn. Those are grown man stats. Those are grown man stats. So, hey man, I don't know this guard position. I don't even know. I don't even know who's top five anymore. Ja was Ja had an interview not too long ago saying, "Oh, blah, 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 I'm top five point guard in the league." Are you really? Are you? I mean, are you really? I mean, Kyrie's top three, but he's not playing, so he doesn't count. Uh, so we're not, okay, so Steph, we're carry out this Steph way. Dame hasn't been like his greatest season ever this year so far, but like I don't know, he's he's at his moments. I'd still put Dame second after Steph. Um, Kyrie don't count, but he would be third. Um, uh, did they say did he say point guard or guard? 
I don't even know what the question was. I think the question was about playing guards, but I mean, let's just say guards, because like, so we can include Luca. Like Luca's yeah. Luca's up there. Um, Luca's up there. I mean, I'm. Probably... I mean, Luca's listed. As, Luca's listed as a point guard, anyways. Is he? Yeah. Oh, is he? I thought he was shooting. Um, uh, he's he's listed as a point guard, so he's. Not, I don't. I don't know about John being top five. Top five. Yeah. Yo, Lu- yo, Luca might be over Dame at this point, to be honest, bro. Like, you know, especially this season. Like Luca's Luca's gross, bro. That guy's that guy's something else. Cause like I think that when he's Dame's age, he's gonna be better than Dame is now. Cause Dame wasn't yeah. as good as Luca when he was Luca's age. You know, like yeah, Dame Dame was good when he was young, but he got like he became Dame Dalla when he was like north of twenty five. You know, like in his later twenties, that's when he became like, damn, this guy's like a superstar in the league, right? That's true too. So, yeah. um, but yeah, then after those three, it kind of gets muddy. Like I feel like like you kind of have to put Trey up there, cause like like you know the performance Atlanta had last year, like. And the, what Trey did in those playoffs too, like you gotta put Trey up there. I don't know how he's doing this season. Um, I'd put Ja over Deep Book. I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but like I can't think of anyone else really. I put Ja. CP three, CP three, Russell. CP three, Lonzo. Ja's definitely over Russell right now. Ja's over Lonzo too. Ja's over Lonzo. Jaws over Lonzo. Shit. I like I love Lonzo, but Jaws over Lonzo. Um CP three? Nah. Ja, ja over CP three right now. Right now, what? Ja over C P three. Ja over CP3. Okay, like nah 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 ja nah nah CP3. nah nah. This guy. Yo, Ja over C P three. You have to play a pickup game at the park right now. You're digging Ja over C P three. Huh? Game at the park? Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! CP3, what's CP3 gonna do to Ja, bro? You say <laughs> 1v1 CP3 versus Ja? 1v1 CP3 versus Ja, I got CP3. Yeah, 1v1 you're, CP3 versus You're out of your mind. CP3 versus Ja? CP3 versus Ja, I got J- Bro, what? Bro. CP3 versus Ja, 1 on 1, I got CP3. <laughs> bro. I'm so sorry. Ja's, I'm so sorry. Ja's, Ja's, Ja 1 on 1 versus Lonzo, I got Lonzo. Yeah, I Ja 1 on 1 versus. Ja one on one versus Russell, I got Russell. Ja one on one versus Steph, I got Steph. Ja one on one basketball. I mean, Ja one on one against Russell is a different story, but like Ja one on one against like East. against CP three, bro. CP three, you take away the other four men from him, and he's like his quality as a player drops immensely, bro. Like, like Damn. yo, he he's a he's a team guy. Like it's his facilitating and his IQ that makes him so good. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that at that. I'm gonna leave that at that. Um. Hey. What you got hey. something else to add, bro? Or or, or are, are we I pressing the red button, bro? Are we ejecting right here? Um, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you know, listen, people. We appreciate y'all. You know, listening as always. Uh, and we will catch you on the next one. Hopefully, hopefully next week is a little bit more exciting. You know. Anyway, take it easy. Peace.